You know, we should really look into getting a kitchen table. Why? So I can have a place to read my paper and eat my eggs. Sounds like a personal problem. Why can't you just eat them in the living room? On Brandon's bed? <sighs> How scandalous. Yeah, I can't wait to hear what the neighbors will say. I don't appreciate your lip. I don't appreciate your face. You want some of this? Is that a threat? No. A spatula. Are you looking for the Johnson file? It isn't there. With what? I was gonna add some more notes to your case today, but couldn't find your file. I think I- You what? I must have- Must have lost the files to the most important case this year? I was just trying to- Just trying to ruin my chances at becoming partner? Destroying our client's chances at going free and ending your career in law? I didn't, I didn't ask what you didn't do. Just gather your things and get out of the office. So he keeps his hands in his ass cheeks all day. So when he brushes her hair out of her face, he knows she's gonna get pink eye. <laughs> oh, hold on one second, I gotta phone call. Little bro! What's up? Haven't heard from you since you left the 206. Uh, yeah. Hi. What's up? You sound like someone pissed in your fucking Cheerios. I was just fired. What the fuck, man? I pulled a lot of strings to get you that job. You think having connections in that shit town is easy? I know, I'm sorry. I was late, I'm just- It's just that you're fucking up again. If I had to make an educated guess, it's because you're hanging out with those yam bags. When are you gonna learn that face paint and fago won't get you a decent job? I'm doing the best that I can. I don't have a car. I barely even have a place to stay. I'm sorry. I know. I know you're sorry. I hope JCPenney accepts sorry, so you can get yourself a real pair of pants. Hey, I didn't call you just to get yelled at. What did you call for then? I thought you'd have some advice. Look, little bro, I'll do you one better. I'll wire you some cash. You can pay me back as soon as you beg for your job back. As for advice, Hawk the imaginary hatchet, get a car, and drive away from those turd burglar friends you're living with. They're not turd. Listen, I gotta go. Send me your account information and say hi to Debbie. Who is that on the phone? That, that was my stepbrother. That was a low. Well, man, we don't need any negative vibes here. He's just an engine who lost his way. He'll pick up the hatch again when he's ready. Anyway, what did Mr. Lost His Way say? He wants to send me some money so I can buy a car. How much money? Like three grand. Holy shit. That's a lot of dough. Yeah, but he's an asshole. I thought you looked up to him. Yeah, sometimes I wonder why. Well, let's look through the classifieds and find you a new car. Yeah, sure. Too bad we don't have a kitchen table to sprawl it out on. Yeah, see?
The Wayne Foundation's vision is for a world without child slavery. Sexual trafficking victims can be any sex, age, ethnicity, or background. Our goal is to provide young women in the United States who have fallen victim to commercial sexual exploitation and domestic trafficking with a means of leaving the sex industry for good. It is our intent to fight CSEC with the United States through direct victim assistance, public outreach, and by directly working with those who shape the policies and statutes which impact victims and their abusers. Be sure to follow our official Twitter account at the Wayne FDN. You can also assist by participating in the Wayne Foundation's recurring donation program.